now let us look at the second type of problem you know which is <clears throat> the one with equality constraint you know where, where you have this equality constraint and you want to solve it. so if you remember you know the way we have approached this problem in in the past is we have actually you know used the equality constraint and converted it into a one variable optimization problem and then solved it you know that's one way of course uh, and then you know we have also done the graphical way you know which is another way in which you can you can just plot the constraint gx y equal to c and then plot the level curves for f and then figure out where is the f maximum okay which point on the on on this line you know correspond to the highest uh, highest level curve you know so that's another way to do this uh, now i'm going to tell you the third way okay uh, which is uh, through lagrangian method okay so this is uh, lagrangian method please note that there is no inequality constraint over here there is only one constraint which is this okay that's it okay uh, so what is the lagrangian method so this is a lagrangian method uh, so you first construct a lagrangian function okay so what is a lagrangian function so if you have this objective okay the lagrangian function associated with this objective is lxy equal to okay uh, you put fxy first okay that's objective okay and then introduce this new variable lambda okay uh, this is a new variable that you introduce okay uh, this is also known as multiplier okay and then you just write gxy c okay okay that's it okay uh, so basically you convert this constraint into constraint like this gxy minus c equal to zero and then take the left hand side and write it over here Is that clear? So this is a Lagrangian function. So now what are we going to do with this? Okay, so I'll give you the necessary conditions now. Okay, so if you remember, I gave you the necessary conditions for this one. What were the necessary conditions? Del f by del x equal to zero, del f by del y equal to zero. Okay, so I'll give you the necessary conditions for this one. Okay, so the necessary conditions for this one are del l by del x equal to zero, and then del l by del y equal to zero. Okay, and then finally gxy equal to c okay the constraint should also be met so these three are the necessary conditions for optimum okay and if the lagrangian function is also concave then these conditions also become sufficient is that clear to everyone so concavity will guarantee that you are looking at the maximum is this, is this clear okay let's do problem i think that's just going to make it clear uh, so suppose you want to maximize uh, by the way for minimization you know what you can do is again you can convert this into a minimize maximization problem and then just do this in exactly this way so suppose this is a problem okay how do you convert this into a maximization problem you can just multiply the objective by minus one okay and then it is exactly the same thing as as you know this the only thing is this is a negative term here so if you want to write the lagrangian function for this problem then you just put a minus sign over here that's it everything else will stay the same okay and then you just solve the problem okay that's it that's all that you have to do okay uh, so minimization problem can be solved in exactly the same way you know i mean there's no difference okay okay so <clears throat> and if you are solving the minimization problem again you want to get some set of uh, necessary conditions uh, and again for the con so because you have converted into a maximization problem so the lagrangian function with the minus f over here should be concave okay don't don't use convexity there because because you've already converted into a, a maximization problem you know so when when you're looking for a maximizer uh, then then basically you want to check if con if the if the lagrangian function is concave or not. okay okay so let's do a problem okay so suppose you are interested in maximizing with respect to x y okay root x plus root y okay subject to the constraint 
that x plus y equals to 20. Okay. Is that fine? Okay. Uh, so how do you do this? Well, you can write the Lagrangian function LXY equal to root x plus root y plus, uh, sorry, minus lambda. Uh, so you convert this into this form. You want to get x plus y minus 20. Okay. Right. This is the Lagrangian function. Yes or no? Okay. Now all that you have to do is just solve this. Okay. Uh, so so. Uh, uh, oh, by the way, first of all, let's let's check. Is this concave? Is this concave? So when you are checking for concave, you just fix the lambda. Okay. We we we. You know, it's like lambda can be thought of as a constant. Okay. So now now you know is this concave? You know, if you see root x is a concave function, root y is a concave function. Extend the domain, add them up. You are again going to get a concave function. It's the sum of two concave functions. Uh, minus lambda x, you know, is, is a linear function. Okay, uh, so it is a concave function. Minus lambda y is also a linear function, so it's a concave function. And plus 20 lambda is a constant, so it is also a concave function. So it is actually a concave function. Okay, so basically all that you have to do is just, uh, you know, uh, figure out this, and uh, the solution will be actually the solution to the optimization problem because these are the necessary conditions but they become sufficient conditions when you know uh, uh, when the fun when when lagrangian function is concave okay uh, so let's let's just quickly do this okay uh, so del l by del x is what del l by del x is 1 by 2 root x minus lambda equal to 0 and then del l by del y is equal to 1 by 2 root y minus lambda equal to zero right yes or no okay and then you also have the third condition the third condition is that the constraint must hold basically which means that x plus y must be equal to 20. okay now you have three equations three unknowns you just have to solve for x y and lambda right yes or no okay so let's quickly solve for it Okay, so what are we going to get when you're going to solve for x, y, and lambda? Uh, well, uh, if you're going to just uh, take this, lambda is this, lambda is this. So 1 by 2 root x is equal to 1 by 2 root y. So these two conditions will give you 1 by 2 root x is equal to 1 by 2 root y, okay, which will give you x equal to y, right? Okay, and then you plug this over here and you're going to get x equal to y equal to 10. Do you agree? Is everybody getting this? Yes, okay. Professor. Okay, and what is the value of lambda here? What is the value of lambda? Lambda is one by two root ten. One by two root ten. Absolutely. Okay, so this is lambda. Okay, uh, and this is actually the solution to the maximization problem, you know, 10, 10, because the, the, the Lagrangian function is concave. Okay, uh, so what is the interpretation of this lambda? Okay, uh, so, you know, there is a very nice interpretation of this lambda. You know, you can actually think of this as the marginal utility of money. Okay, so if you just increase 20, you know, if you increase your income by, by an epsilon amount, okay, then your utility goes up by epsilon times this amount okay so uh, so you know this this lambda is actually marginal utility of money in in the utility maximization problem context okay okay so how do you actually use this okay uh, so suppose i'll ask you by how much your utility will go up if your income is 21 and not 20 okay by how much your utility will go up so in this case you know you, you have some utility with 21 also you'll have some utility so you know one way to do that is solve this problem again for 21 okay figure out the utility at 10 10 figure out the utility at you know whatever solution you're going to get when 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 income is 21 
okay and then compare the utilities and figure out the difference that's one way but the other is basically this this you know use this this is approximately by how much your utility goes up it is one by two to ten okay that's basically uh you know by how much your utility goes up okay and if i'll ask you suppose you increase your income by half a unit one by two okay so basically what that means is uh, your income is not 20 but 20.5 20 by how much your utility will go up in optimum then that will be given by half times this okay because this is like per unit you know by in terms of per unit change in income level you know uh, so if you are basically changing the income by half a unit then you have to multiply this by half okay uh, so this is a very nice interpretation of of this multiplier okay uh, that uh, this also gives you uh, you know by how much uh, your optimal value changes if you relax the constraint uh, by one unit okay 